It's not how much cholesterol you have in your body, but what it's doing in your body that is important. APOE and high cholesterol. I am Tanya Lahat. I'm a board certified functional medicine family nurse practitioner. I have over three decades in healthcare. First in big pharma, second practicing medicine. So when I left big pharma, I took a whole different approach to, to how I treat and look at patients. I knew that because of pharmaceutical fuzzy math, that a lot of the data that doctors go on isn't really what it looks like. One of the things that I have found out in clinical practice is that all of my APOE4 patients, this is the Alzheimer's gene patients, they can have one or two alleles, but they all have elevated cholesterol. And sometimes they're wicked. And actually the majority of the time they're wicked. But none of these patients, unless they're eating a high glycemic food plan, develop cardio vascular disease. And so most of these people have statins thrown at them, which is a really bad idea. And the reason being is because statins increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. They also increase your insulin resistance, which is what is going to oxidize your LDL and create the cardiovascular disease. In addition to that, it's going to put them at an increased risk of dementia because insulin type 3 diabetes is Alzheimer's. So the last thing you want to do is give these patients something that is not going to be favorable to their biochemistry. 